Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Hinterland, where I'm just chilling out a little bit here at the port, seeing if there's any uh, tourists coming in. It's off season right now. It's still technically off season, I guess you would say April, but we're getting close. We're getting close to the summer months getting some tourists and also getting our harvesting back into full swing and actually doing some farm work however I have continued on my journey and path to expand hinterland and to keep the economy growing and booming <laughs> yeah we'll see how well that goes first thing I want to show you that I have added you'll notice a slight change over here we have got the specialty country store so i was thinking what in the world am i going to put here in place of the cow barn that used to be here and i just really couldn't get myself set on one thing or the other as far as i wanted something that would bring in income i just couldn't i couldn't find anything i liked so this is actually a part it's a two-piece mod well, there's two pieces to this mod. It's the Lizard Greenhouse and Production Facilities mod. It's the Lizard Production Greenhouse and Store. Boy, I wasn't super close. Here's the greenhouse that goes with it. As you can see, it's uh, quite large. In fact, it's very large. And it's a it's a nursery, it's a tree. I think it's I think it's for trees. But part of it too is this selling point. And I quite like the selling point. And it's even got a German flag. And of course an American flag. Um I think that is is that Sweden? Oh, the blue and yellow, is that Sweden? It's a Norwegian. Boy, I should know. That blue, white, and red vertical stripe i'm not so sure about i'm not good with flags but let's take a little look ski around so i added this fencing oh and i also added light poles so we've got some lighting at night if i remember to at the end of the episode i will show you what this looks like at night it actually looks pretty slick so i added fencing all the way around with light poles the store kind of comes around to the back side here where you've got your dumpster and some hoodlums have been throwing trash on the ground and doing some cart bashing. I think I've told you all the story about uh, how we used to do cart bashing when I was in high school. Yeah, that was that was something. Another light pole here. We're going to be extending our probably our village out this way as well. So I put some lights there. Basically, it's a sell point. It's an additional sell point. It, and there's quite a few things it will take <clears throat> uh, that we will be selling. So it gives us just an additional sell point, maybe maybe with higher prices. Who knows? But like I said, at night, it's looking pretty slick. It does have a light somewhere. Oh, right there. Yeah, right in between, right below the main sign. That, that lights up. And it's got cameras, it looks like. Too bad we don't have access to those. So we have that in our downtown area. Now, let me show you where I've been spending most of my time. Now, the first thing you should notice is we've brought in an old transformer for power. And we've got power lines wrapped across here. Now, I don't know if it comes up on video or not, but I can see like a blue halo almost kind of an effect parallel to the power line right there but if i but if i unlock my frame rate it goes away so i don't know it's probably something to do with v-sync or dlla dlaa or something i i don't really know i i played with it if i if i lock the frame rate down again the little blue halos come back i don't know if you'll see those in video or not but and nonetheless, these are pretty cool. But we do need... That's the only power we have right now. We are going to have to run that power down here because I spent some quality time, believe it or not. I know it doesn't look like I've done much. Putting in our... 
spinnery. Well, it's a spinnery, but it's the uh, I forget what it's called now. It's the um, the special spinnery thing. Let's go to production here real quick, and let's go to factories, and we'll find out right quick. It is the custom production spinnery by BK Mods. It looks like. And in fact, since we're up here already, I'll just give you an overview of what's going on here. So I did some graveling on the road here. We may end up either doing a full gravel job or maybe cement this road in or blacktop or something. But right now I just put some gravel down uh, just so that it would be a little bit better uh, in, the, in the wet seasons. So we're not getting stuck in mud and stuff coming delivering to this uh, facility. I also gated the facility and wrapped uh, wrapped it in fencing. I will tell you something. The more I do things like this, and I and like I said, this is not my forte. This is not... This is pretty new for me to really get into the decorating and adding and <clears throat> on a wilderness map and kind of creating my own environment. I am really loving it. I'm enjoying it a great deal, but it is also showing me some things that are lacking in this game for doing things like this. And one of them is, for sure, is when you're putting up fencing. I mean, it's easy enough to put up fencing. Don't get me wrong. But, boy, I'll tell you, it's no short miracle to try and get squared corners. And it's... I, I hope Giants... I hope Giants take some of this into consideration in the next version and really uh, ups their game when it comes to uh, this kind of stuff. It would, and, and just implement some kind of measurement or angles or something. I don't know what you could do. Maybe modders could make square. I mean, I would like to see a modder. Maybe the easiest thing to do is, you know, when you get your fences... <clears throat> excuse me, when you get your fences, right, you have straight, you can kind of do this number, and then you have gates, right? Why not put a, a corner piece in? That way I can, like, guarantee myself to have 90-degree corners. If you all know of any tricks, I would love to hear them because I'm still trying to improve my skills on this, but, I mean, these are pretty straight lines. But, boy, I'll tell you, it's not as easy as it looks. So, I got that out of the way, I guess is what I'm saying. And these gates are sliding gates. So, we can open and close those gates whenever we like, when we're delivering, whatever whatever we need to do. So, what do we need to do here today? Well, we need to get into finishing off this property. Uh, we need to pave the rest of this area. And then there are some things I want to put down. Uh, I got a couple ideas just to make it look a little bit more lived in and used and things like that. So let's just get started and see how much of a mess I can make of this. I have my, uh, I actually have coffee today. Yeah, I think, I think the coffee is going to help my throat a little bit. I'm still having some vocal issues. I apologize if uh if that comes through but uh coffee i think will do me better than than water um let's see here so if we go to landscaping and we get to our painting and i think we need some asphalt uh we need to finish off the asphalting of the property and i think i'm gonna do just kind of get this all laid out pretty good you know there's a couple things I've kind of, like I said, I've really started enjoying doing things like this more. I honestly just really never did much of this at all. Very little. Very little. And in fact, I kind of just shied away from it, if I'm being honest with you. I kind of found myself... Um, not really that interested. And... But the more I get into, the more I'm, the more I'm getting into uh, creating my own areas and things. I'm really, really enjoying it, and I am shocked that at how many 
uh, decoration and fence packs and things I have sought after, I really didn't think I would. Every time I am looking at new mods when they come out, and let's say they're like fence packs and decoration packs and things, I'd always just kind of, eh, whatever, and kind of skip through them. But now it's like, hmm, how can I use that? And I'm really enjoying it. And I am learning that I'm trying, you know, I, you don't, you don't have to be perfect. That's, that's part of it too, is you, you really don't have to be perfect. And I think that's what I kind of shied away from at first was I wasn't so, so sure that I had the skills to, to do this because I always thought, man, it's gotta be just right and perfect. And sometimes imperfect looks more natural than perfect if that makes sense. And that's why I don't mind, generally speaking, like if there's grass coming up through here and stuff. And I mean, that's got, that happens in real life, right? I mean, you get weeds growing, you get grass growing. Unless you've got a really good full-time gardener or, or, or um, groundskeeping crew, I mean, things aren't going to look perfect. And things aren't going to look perfect out here on Hinterland because we don't have a full-time groundskeeping crew. So there you go. All right, so our parking lot is much more substantial now, which is kind of what I wanted. And we need to, however, blend this in a little bit because it doesn't look quite right yet. So we're going to grab some gravel and let's see if we can make a mess. I actually kind of like the round one better myself. And we're just going to kind of get, get some of this graveled in because... We don't want grass in our in our dealio here. I've got a couple I've got a few ideas on what we're gonna do here to make this thing a little more attractive and looking a little bit more natural and things like that. I have learned a couple tricks along the way of how you, know, you, you start kind of learning how the game wants you to do certain things and how how it's kind of easier to do certain things one way um, so I'm starting to I'm starting to pick up on some of the on the little nuance things but there are still some fundamental things that I find like right here why can I not kind of get right in there you know like it's it's I think because of that gate being there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to a square, I think, and try that. If that doesn't work, which it doesn't seem to be very well, I just make the square a little bigger. Don't want to make it that big. Holy cow. And we might have to... Let's see if opening this gate makes life a little bit easier for us. Maybe that will get, uh, get things out of the way. And you can also go back, there's almost nothing you, there's almost nothing you can't fix, too. You know, that's kind of what I like, too. It's it's like, well, yeah, I screwed that up. That doesn't look right. But usually you can fix things. I'm not quite sure why I'm having such a hard time getting, yeah, we can fix that. Oh, we can fix, well, I don't know if we can fix that. But I'm not able to really get my, uh. Uh, da, da, da. We can fix some of that. Yeah, it just really does not want to paint in that area right there for some reason. Maybe if I go... Uh, be careful, Brad. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Actually, you know what? We can work with that. We can actually work with that. As bad as that seems, that's actually not very hard to fix. I should have put dirt down first because that's going to look a little bit... It won't look that bad from the ground, but you can see the gravel kind of in between the grass there. And then we can kind of do this number to kind of get our roadway back in shape. 
The only thing that's missing now is we've got some grass missing there. But you know what? That's not a big deal. It's probably been worn out. I might take all this grass out anyways. Kind of looking too tracky thing. I might take that out anyways. But that took care of that spot. I will get the rest of that asphalt. Oh, it looks like we've got some stranded pieces here. Let's do a little bit of cleanup here. Go back and get some asphalt here. Because we're not going to... We don't want to gravel... We don't want gravel in this area. I don't mind if there's a little gravel um, coming through. That's okay. That's all right, for goodness sakes. Let's see if the round... Nope, round. Round's not helping me out. There we go. That's what we wanted right there. I wonder why I didn't. Did I not try something like that before? Maybe I didn't. Let's come over here and see if we can strike. Brad. There we go. All right, let's take a peek at our work so far. So we, yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Outstanding. All right. So what we're going to do is... One thing I have learned, save along the way. Save along the way. Next thing I want to put in, and I know some of this stuff you're going to be thinking, boy, Brad, this is a little bit nitpicky maybe, but it's fun, you know, and it's cool because everything kind of adds up to just make things look a little bit better. And I actually need to go into fences, I think, for this. And I found these gizmos here. Let's see if we can... There's a couple different sets. One's in fences and one is... Um, in regular decoration. So this is narrow with water 6 meter. Border stone narrow with water gutter. Border stone narrow with water gutter. I'm not sure what the difference... Uh, maybe the one's a little more rusted, it kind of looks like, maybe. But yeah, we're going to see. Those are These are those um, water drains. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm going to remember money-wise, too, because some of this stuff gets a little bit kind of silly expensive, and I'm not super into that. Um, let's put this down and put down one more. Something like that. Because you always see the water drains, you know, when you come into places like that, just to keep water draining out of the lot and stuff. Let's put one down on this side as well. See if we can't get it to matchy-matchy a little bit. Where's my water drains? Here they are. Uh, da -da -da. let's go over here. Let's see what size we need for this one. We might get away with just one. Oh, you know what? We might not get away with... Yeah, it really is having a hard time. We might not... We might not put any down on this one. I don't know what it is about this area here, but it's really having a hard time. There is a mod, and I'm curious if it would help. Are you gonna are you gonna line up for me? Something like that, maybe. There's a mod out that. Oh, you know what? Collides with another item. Oh, I wonder if the mod author. And I'm hitting the V key to, uh, to turn off. Collisions, but it's not working. So we might skip. We might just have to. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a sweet spot. Right there. Might be a little crooked. Let me show you the other one. If we go to decorations, others. This one might work a little bit better for us. Nope. Oh, there's drains too, which we'll be putting one of those down here in a bit. There is, uh, 
I'll tell you what, time flies to you. I, I don't know if watching this kind of thing is something you enjoy, but I'll tell you from the doing it perspective, time stinking flies. I have spent two, three, four hours, and oh, look at that. You can really see how there's some weird weirdness going on with the collisions there or something on that entrance. So, yeah, we're not going to have a great bit of luck there. So let's go back to the one that we were dealing with before and see if we can get it to fit halfway decent and look halfway decent somehow. There's a mod. I keep saying there's a mod. There is a mod. Yes, there is a mod that's like place fences anywhere. Now, I don't know if that mod would be helpful in this situation. I kind of doubt it. Because it sure looks like there's something funky. I'm just not going to get it. We're just not going to get it. I don't think we're going to get it. Alright, skip it. Can only focus on something for so long and then I'm done. I'll try and figure it out later. So, the next thing I thought of that we could do is... I know whenever I've worked at places where there's like like factory situations and there haven't been many I actually haven't worked at that many factories but every time I work someplace like this actually let me get away from the factory so it's not humming in our ears we need employee parking also of course you need a smoker's tent or a smoker's lounge or whatever you want to call it some place for people to go out and burn a, sm um, a smoky have a little smoky treat and then um, there's also a lot of times there's a basketball court or something like that, a picnic table, you know, so along those lines. So what we're going to be looking for here is somewhere in here I have, as you can see, I've downloaded quite a lot of different placeable mods. Let's put the, the employee parking towards the back side, like back here, I think would be a good place for it. Try and straighten that out a little bit. And, um... Eh, that looks... Looks pretty good. So we've got some employee parking over here. Now, this is where money gets to be a little bit silly. So I'm, I'm actually... Just so you're aware, I'm going to be putting some money back into our account for some of these things because... Well, I'll show you here real quick. So there's some placeable vehicles... But they're like five, six thousand dollars a piece. I have no interest in spending five, six thousand dollars on a placeable vehicle. Now you might be wondering, well, wait a minute, Brad. Uh, how are these vehicles getting here? Well, I think they we could say they're coming in on the on the boat, right? Now, granted, the employees would probably <laughs> would probably walk from the port to uh, <laughs> to here, but you know what? Maybe we've got some, you know, lazy employees who don't want to just walk to to work. <laughs> oh man, there's ten grand right there. I think I want one more. Uh, I want kind of colorful. Yeah, we'll put him here. All right, there we go. All right, so we're gonna add about fifteen thousand for those for those cars. Because there's no way I'm paying 15 grand to have three cars sitting here like that. And then I'm thinking for employees, we're, you know, I mean, I want to make sure, though, that when we, I don't know how much we're going to be delivering here. Because a lot of it's probably going to be just uh, forwarded from the sheep. But we will need to come here and pick up stuff and drop stuff off, probably. So I want to make sure that we leave room for the tractor to come in probably do a UE and turn back out but we do want to have the employees we want them to be comf they want we want them to be comfy so let's look at I had a couple other ideas for there is a basketball hoop which I thought that would be fun you know they might want to come out and play some b-ball right so we're gonna place a little basketball hoop ski there and I thought this would make a, for a really nice little smoker's lounge. But I don't know that we need... Uh, we 
could, we could. Let's see what else we got here. I don't think we have anything too much smaller. Are you an old tire? I was kind of hoping for... Yeah, there's a picnic table, but it's going to get hot out here. Oh, we do need a couple trees back here for shade, too. We're definitely going to be adding that for sure. Picnic table. Uh, yeah, not in the way of the smokers or the basketball, the smokers lounge. Not in the way of the basketball court, though. And I wouldn't think they'd want to be picnicking on this side over here. So let's send the picnic table. Let's send the picnic table over here. We'll put a couple trees in for them so that they uh, have some shade along with our little canopy there. And I'm also thinking if they want to do a little grilling as well. And then somewhere, and I've probably missed it, uh, maybe we'll come across it here. I think I'm going to leave out the hut for now. But there is a... I think I, I think I might have passed it. Yeah, looks like I passed it. We need some water drainage and... Let's see what else we got going on. I do want to put something along the other side of the building as well. I'm not exactly sure what I want to put there. But we definitely need we need some water drainage. And I'm assuming there's going to be some water drainage. Doesn't really matter where those are. Usually you have one or two floating around in there. And then what is that? Oh, that's the electric box. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's what we need to do. Okay. Well, let's do that. Let's do that. So we got a basketball, so a little kind of a lame deal, but at least they can sit down and come out and chill for a while. Need to put down a couple trees for this bad boy too. But here's what we need to do too. We need to put up, we need to get electricity to this thing. So if we go to decoration, fences, uh, there are poles. Where are our poles here's our poles and i want the power line with a road lamp and so we are going to attach to that one and our road lamp is going to be something like that i think and then hopefully i've got this spaced out oh that worked out pretty well didn't it yeah that worked out pretty stinking well that lined up nicely if i must say so there we go all right so we got some power with some street lamps coming out to the facility. And then we also need, if we go to others, I think it's uh, close to the front here. Yep, we need this guy here. This is an electric box, or a little uh, electric, what do they call them? A little uh, electric box, kind of a, bring a power into the plant. probably underground who knows some of this is going to have to be use your imagination kind of thing and then uh i think we're in pretty good overall shape with this one we've got a couple minutes let's look at decorations i'm kind of thinking i like my big rocks <laughs> that came out weird um, I like I like the uh, the decorating um, with the big rocks, especially because it gives me something else to hit my tractor on. But uh, yeah, I kind of I kind of like like the looks of uh, just having a big rock sitting there <laughs> for no reason at all. Um, but we do need trees, and I don't think we want to be shy with these. Because we do want shade. Yeah, those are not going to work, are they? Oh, that's not bad. Something like that, maybe in the dealio. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the ticket. Of course, the sun is facing the wrong way right now for some good, for a good shade tree, I think. I need to get, one thing I do want to get more used to is just how these trees, you know, get used to what the trees look like and what works better here and there. So this is a large oak. We're going to put a large oak down there just so I can say, hey, we've got a large oak. And uh, who knows, maybe something here like that. And I'm probably going to shrub up a little bit along the fence line. And, and mind you, you know, it's always new construction, right? So with new construction, things don't always look like they've been there for forever. You know, they kind of have that. You can tell they're kind of newish. Sorry, I just took a little quick sip of the coffee. So I'm okay. I'm okay with most of this. I think I'm probably going to nitpick it a little bit more and uh, I'll show you any other changes I make. But I think I'm pretty happy with what we got started here so far. And the funny thing is, let me save this real quick. The funny thing is, I love the I love lighting and I love putting up lights for night lights and stuff, but I never play the game at night. I, so it's like I'll never see things lit up. So I don't know why I care that much about them. But I do. I like it. Okay, so I'm going to save the game. I think we've saved the game. And then let's go ahead and do a quick fast forward to evening time so that you can see what this looks like. Don't those street lamps, those kind of things look nice? Kind of light up the parking lot kind of nicely? Like that kind of deal? A little, little creepy if you had somebody just standing underneath there, kind of silhouetted. It'd be a little creepy. Then we come on down and we got street lights here. So if we are delivering at night, I guess, well, I guess we've got a little illumination. Be nice to have a little bit extra lighting here, which I'm probably going to do. We have some lighting here that's built into the mod, but I think a couple lamps back here might not be too, uh, <clears throat> too bad to have. So that's where we're at, everyone. Um, money. Oh. Oh, I was gonna. I was gonna say, how did we get 135,000? But we kind of went to the next day. So that's it. I mean, I. I don't know. I think I've accomplished th everything I've kind of want to accomplish this off season. I think it's time that we start focusing on getting back into the bringing in money instead of putting it out. But I really, we really did need. We really did need this spinnery to get going, because we are now getting wool and we are getting cotton. And we need a place to start getting some production going. So I thought this was a better a better thing to spend our money on than another cow pasture or more animals or something like that. Um, so yeah, that's kind of why that decision, that's why I went that way with it. So take care of yourselves. I hope you all enjoyed the episode. Leave a like, of course, if you do. I'd appreciate that. And subscribing as always if you want to. And uh, yeah. I can't guarantee it, but hopefully we'll be uh, harvesting soon. But hey, you never know. As long as there's money in the bank, I might think of something to spend it on. But you all take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now.